Recording. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So are you ready? Is it recording? Yes. Hi yeah, I'm Melissa. Melissa Horrocks. I live in Blackpool. I'm thirty five years old. And uh, I've got a daughter, Loretta, she's over there. She's also recording me. I'm not recording you, I'm taking pictures. Oh, she's taking pictures of me. Because she has aspirations of being an actress as well. Okay, so you want to know a bit more about myself? Well, I live in Blackpool, yeah, um, known as the gay capital because we've got all the nightclubs and the pubs and, you know, and, and it's really good. And um, I like going out clubbing and I like going to pubs and I like having a drink and letting my hair down. But I've also got a serious side. I like working, I like helping out at the charity shop. Well, I don't work, well, I do work because I'm a full time mother um, to two children, Loretta and Aaron. Loretta's six and Aaron's three. Um, and, and they're both a handful, but Aaron's more of a handful. Aaron's got autism, well, we think he has, um, but he's been diagnosed with global learning delay and is under an investigation for autism. So every day is like difficult, but um, the best thing that we find is to have a laugh and to smile and to just get through it. And I believe that you should look on the brighter side of life and be happy, you know, because that's what this life is all about. It's really fleeting and, you know, you've got to, you've got to see the happy side of it. You've got to be, you know, cheerful and everything and I'm getting distracted by my daughter who's pretending to film me um, yeah so what was I saying sorry I work in a charity shop I help out and I like doing that I like helping with the customers and working on the till and sorting out the clothes and pricing them and everything I enjoy doing that I've got a BTEC National Diploma in Performing Arts, I've got distinctions in acting and I've always wanted to go into performing arts in some way but just never had the chance yet and I'm like 35 years old and I can't believe that I'm 35 because in another five years I'll be 40 and that's a scary thought because it means that I'm getting older and my mum's recording this and she's probably thinking well what should she think because she's getting old as well <laughs> she's a senior citizen and I like teasing her a lot by that now she's putting her two fingers up at me <laughs> um, okay so what else can I say I'm full of life I'm a happy go lucky kind of person I go to church I like going to church I'm born again Christian um, I was also born Jewish, um, what else can I say, <laughs> I've been married to my husband 10 years and we have a lot of banter and a lot of laughs and um, we love each other, even though he really winds me up, he, uh, I do love him and uh, he's real good to me in that. Uh, I've got a dog called Lily and she's absolutely mad, she's now. madder than me, she's actually madder than me, she chases around the house, she barks a lot, it's got to be five minutes long, she barks a lot, my mum's trying to wind me up you see, she's like, well not wind me up as in wind me up but she's trying to get me to bring it to an end because like I don't know, maybe I've said too much but as you can see I can talk for England I do love talking. I love talking a lot, as you can see. Um, what else can I say? What was I saying about my dog? She's a Cockeranian, a uh, cross between a Cocker Spaniel and a Pomeranian. Oh, by the way, sometimes I say some really silly things like, once I said, oh, my, look, there's a dead penguin in the road. And actually, it wasn't a penguin, it was a pigeon. And my husband once asked me, by the way, do you know, he said, look, this is the tastiest part of the chicken. It's really yummy. Do you know what? Do you know what it's oh, called? Yeah. And I was like, it's the really tastiest part of the chicken. It's called the parson's nose. Do you know what it is? And I said, oh, it's a chicken's nose. And obviously it wasn't. It was a chicken's foot. So anyway, I'm going to have to come again because someone's at the door.
about me. And thank you for watching and hope to see you soon shortly.